chasing some monsters, but I can't seem to locate them. They were uh, easily over 200 inches, and I cannot find them. They're uh, just giants. We seen a good one last night skirting the top of a valley, but they're just so far away. But they, there's two that we spotted that one night in this alfalfa. They come ripping out. They were come out of a nice draw. We seen them in the alfalfa, and they were just giants. Then we went back the next morning, and we spotted the, the second largest one. He was, uh, again, he's easily 200 inches. Nice, good video. I was about 80 yards from him, so I got really good video. So we we're uh, kind of on the lookout for those guys, but those guys are pretty awesome bucks. So we're kind of keeping our eye out for those ones, and hopefully we see them again. I just want to see them. They're super cool. You don't get to see 200-inch deer every day, so we're going to keep looking, but I'm pretty sure Bo's going to take a doe tonight. If not a doe, then a small buck, but, or anything, <laughs> or a monster, who knows, we'll see.
Okay, while I'm back, the bow, he's uh, leaving me because clearly I suck. And he's taking practice shots now. We got pretty close on that one, but yeah. He was behind a big something or other at glass that I did not see him at all. The bow was whistling and giving me directions and just couldn't see him. He was like 10 yards away, 10 maybe, maybe 12 yards. And then all of a sudden I heard and he took off. So. I don't know man, it's hunting I guess. That's my first stock of the year and I blew it on a really nice one. Really nice, he had points everywhere. <sighs> but whatever, the bigger ones, let him go. So yeah, that's what I did, I let him go. Uh, passed on him, he was standing there, I could have shot him, but he's too small, we'll wait for a bigger one. Did you hit him? Yeah. Smoked him? Yeah. Are you sure? Shoulder. It totally. Was it high? No, it was right there. It was the perfect spot. Yes, it was amazing. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Good job. Now we give him a fit. Hopefully, he moves over there and he can watch him. Yes. Spotted a couple bucks coming coming this way across the field. Uh, so we're just gonna make a move on them. We haven't seen too much driving around, so we're just gonna super windy this afternoon and the wind really died down right now. So these deer are feeding towards this valley, so we're just gonna kinda get to the valley and hopefully get ahead of them and see what we can do. The wind's still from the from the west, so they're walking into the wind, but 
I don't know. We'll see what we can do. That's all we can. That's all we can do. Lots of cows around, and I don't like cows.
stack. And then you come over and there he is laying there. So there goes my buck tag. He's uh, he's dead. Shot him last night and never found him. So whatever. Well, we're uh, unfortunately that's what happens when you make a little bit of a bad shot. Shot looked, it was a good shot, 35 yards roughly, coming down, came out the bottom end. You can see where the hole was, and yeah, that's what happens when you leave them overnight. The, the coyotes find them and disintegrate them. So I'm still pretty tickled with them. I'll, I'll still tag them. I'm not I'm not going to not tag them, but. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. That's what happens when you make a bad shot and you have to wait. Either you bump them and you lose them or you sit and wait and hopefully recover them. So that's the way it is. So we'll uh, see you on the next adventure.